Hello everyone. Welcome to our virtual art program provided to you by your library. My name is Colton and today I'll be walking you through how to draw a brown pelican. It's our state bird, it's a beautiful bird, and I'll be showing you an easy and simple way to get a nice little drawing of it. Um, this is my example. If yours comes out differently, it's okay. Um, mostly we're just having fun here. The only two supplies you really need are some paper and a pencil. Um, it's nice to have a sketch pad and a drawing pencil, but if you just have printer paper and a regular number two pencil, that works just as well. Um, you also need your finger to do some shading, so if you have all your fingers, that's a good thing too. Um, if you haven't assembled your materials yet, you can do so now and just pause the video. Otherwise, we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we'll begin by drawing a circle for the eye. And um, you'll, have, you'll probably need to start somewhere in this like top right corner because the bird's going to go go around like this. So we're just going to do, actually we're going to do, let's see, that should be about right. One circle, then a little circle in there. I'm going to fill that one in. Then one more big, big circle. It's okay. Pelican kind of has crazy eyes, so. And then kind of shade this in a little, little bit. All right. And keep in mind too, we're going to be doing all this fairly lightly because we're just kind of outlining it right now. Um, but we'll go back later and uh, darken it out. And then the next, the next part is this little flare kind of triangle that goes up above the eye and then branches out to the bottom, bottom lip, so to speak. Got it right there. One second pause. Right. Okay, start again. All right, so we've got Got that going around here. Then we're going to come back around the edge. Start at the top of the beak. And um, I guess I can give you a few little penguin facts while we're doing this. So our brown pelican was actually designated the state bird about 55 years ago. It was 1950, 19, I'm sorry, 1966. So, keep on going here. So we've got the bottom part of the lip coming around here, and we've got the top part right here. We've got about meat in the middle here. And right there. And then our brown pelicans have this little ridge here that kind of goes up. So we'll just Sort of like that, right? So it's looking pretty good so far. Um, once again, we'll compare it. This is my original here, right? So the next step is we're just going to go around the, the top part of the head, and this is a little probably one of the trickier parts because. We've got a light part and a dark part. So first we're going to come we'll crown here. And then our brown pelican said this little tuft of hair right here. So do it a little bit like that. Getting that? All right. And then it's going to look weird right now, but we're just going to do a slight little outline for just the white part of the head. So it's going to look too small, but that's OK. I'm going to kind of come around 
around here and then pull it in a little bit. And then we're going to go from under the neck. It's going to be this little spot here. I'm going to meet right around here. So it's just a vague little outline right now, but it'll make more sense once we finish it out. Okay, and um, just another little fact. So the brown pelican is the only pelican species that hunts by diving into water from a great height above, which is what this little pouch is for. And they don't actually have as big pouches as some of the other uh, pelicans that you see, but they can hold up to three gallons of water in here. So it's pretty, pretty impressive. All right, so now we're gonna complete the head. So this is the skinny part here. And now this dark part is just gonna be, we're just gonna do straight lines pretty much coming out from here. And just try to like start off hard and like fade it off a little bit because this is supposed to be feathers. So, you know, they're starting off at the bottom and coming out thicker. I'm sorry, coming out thinner. You know, and once again, you know, we're just going for kind of a simple, almost a little, almost a little cartoony look. So it doesn't have to be, you know, scientifically accurate. We're just looking for something that look kind of nice. So we're going around here. All right. So now we're down to about the base of the neck. We're going to come around here. And now we're going to continue down through the stomach for a little bit here. All in all, pelicans are probably one of the simpler birds to draw. Once you get to the, to the feathers, each individual feather, that gets pretty tough. Once again, we're going to come back and blend it, and if, uh, if our neck gets too thick or too thin, we can, you know, erase and expand. It's all right. Okay, so now the big part is the big wing. And the wing is just kind of a big extended oval. So we just start here. Once again, light, light strokes. I'm coming down here and then once you get to the bottom here you want to try to try to show a few little feathers sticking out like that then we're going to come back up around here to the kind of shoulder area right all right so we got that and now our, our pelicans have a pretty interesting little, you know, shading pattern. So it goes from light to dark to light. Um, we're going to wait to finish shading until after we've got the whole outline finished, just because it works a little bit easier that way. Um, so continuing ombre, we're just going to fill out the chest down to, down to its little feet down here. Right, so the chest kind of wraps up under the wing here. So now we've got the head, the body, the wing. All that's left to finish is the legs. So the legs are pretty simple. Sticking out down here. And the little feet. Coming back around. And then this back foot is going to be slightly behind the other one. So we can put it a little smaller for perspective. It's going to be behind this other one. Don't want it too small, but just, just enough to show kind of some depth. All right. And we want our pelican to be sitting on a piling. All right. So... It's pretty easy, just a round little circle here, kind of like a pie plate, right? 
and then two straight lines coming down. Pretty simple, all right. So we've got the outline right now. It doesn't look m like much, but once we finish doing the shading, it's going to really make it pop out. Okay. So the final part, well, the second to last part we want to do is the shading. So once again, you can use drawing pencils or just a regular pencil. Um, you just kind of want to go over over the little parts. The uh, the beak is actually it's going to be on a pelican is slightly darker, so you want to lightly, you know, kind of color this in gray. The um, if you want to just be really light here. Some other facts about pelicans that you may know already. The brown pelican is on our state flag, our state quarter, and also our state seal. And that is why Louisiana is nicknamed the Pelican State. Amazing bird. So once again, just going to do kind of light, and this little ridge here is actually kind of white on a pelican if you look at a picture of them. And now is slightly fun part. You just use your finger and you just kind of smear it. You wouldn't think that this would look good, but it actually works very well. Don't need any special tools for it. Alright, and we'll come back and outline it once again. Um, so, you know, just kind of come in a little darker with this. And then we're going to fill this dark in and kind of fade it out throughout the lower body. Because the lower body is slightly darker. Um, in real life it's more brown, obviously the brown pelican, but we, we're going with black and white right now. And just slight, like, little, you know, zigzags here and there to give the illusion of some feathers. All right, and the legs are actually really, are actually black in real life, so I'm gonna color those in pretty dark. Again, it's no rush, you know, if, you're, if you need to pause this video and take some time, probably, obviously, um, obviously free to do that. And just go at your own pace. So, filling this in here. I've been drawing for a while and I actually drew a pelican when I was in the Talented Art Program when I was very young. And it came out pretty well. I think I won an award for it um, several years back. All right, so once again, we just use our finger, just kind of smear it. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just make sure you kind of stay within the boundary of, of his head or else he'll look like he's got a big head. All right, so we're, once again, kind of smearing it around the edge of the wing and then kind of down and once you've got some on your finger like this, you kind of can just go throughout the body like that. And then once again, throughout the wing. And shading like this really takes your drawing to the next level from just, you know, a straight pencil drawing to now you've got some different shades and everything. All right, so now we've got the shading done. We've got the outline done. Final step is to just go over and do a final outline um, with a thicker line. So you want to go over all these outside lines that we just did pretty lightly. You know, just one final, do the final touch and make it really stand out.
And once again, if your, your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine, it's okay. I've once again I've done it several times and it comes out slightly different every time. It's pretty hard to get it exactly the same, but that's the fun of drawing. Alrighty. And rest up his bill here. We want to give him a little nostril there. Right. And it doesn't have to be a hard outline right here because it's feathers, so I want them to look a little ragged, a little soft, kind of. Right? And I was surprised when I first started drawing that I'm used to the pelicans that have the big, long, you know, beat, uh, what's it called, gullet underneath their bills, but brown pelicans really don't. They've just got a big, kind of straight bill like that. And pelicans, aren't really endangered from much. Nothing, nothing bothers them too much in the animal kingdom. Their, their biggest threat is really actually loose, broken fishing lines that are left behind. They get tangled in them and can't get out. It's pretty sad. So that goes hand in hand with littering. You know, try to pick up your stuff after when you're out in, wild, in the wildlife. Just continuing on with our outline. Get to the final part here. Alrighty. Last part is just the piling. And we can do some shading on the piling as well because we want it to look a little rough and weathered from sitting on the swamp. So again, we can just kind of use that residue that's on our finger from the shading to just kind of go throughout it. You can even kind of do some lines here and there to make it look rough. Do some final touches here and there. Okay, so how does that look? Okay, so as you can see, my original is on the left, and my final product is here on the right. Again, you know, looks slightly different. It's tough to get it exactly the same every time, but that's not really the point. The point is mostly just relax, have fun, and come out with something nice that you can, you know, frame or just have for yourself to show off or you know, just as an exercise. Okay, well, that's the simple and quick way to draw a brown pelican. We hope that you had a good time, that your drawing came out well. We'd love to see uh, your drawings once you've completed them. Um, we hope you had fun on this virtual program. We hope to see you back in person in the library and we hope to see you again at more of our programs uh, in person and virtual. Thank you and have a great day.